We're good to go. Guys, okay. we got the first series. Plot twist versus Valance. CJ, CJ, Dazzer, and guys, take it away. All right. Well, hello, CJ, CJ. We're back again. And, uh, you know, we've talked about this series. Oh, no. I'm in the lobby, and they're, they're abusing me and calling me names that are just not my name. Uh, uh -oh. You know, I just don't – I'd never get a break here uh, in, in these particular matches. But – uh, going into this one, did you ever give your prediction actually on who you think is going to win? I'm going to go plot twist three one, and it looks like we're getting straight into this. Daz, give us a quick prediction as well, please. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, I'll go with plot twist, but I'll say it's in five. Uh, I, you know, I'll give Nose do some credit here, say to keep it close. Hmm. I like that. I like that. I don't think Nose is going to be right. Let's. I just don't want Nose Dude to be right, Daz. That's the main yep. thing, because if he is, yep. it's just it's just got to set up just a terrible week, I reckon, if, if Nose Dude's going to prove us all wrong. Yeah, I mean, on one side, you get him in the Twitch chat a lot, but on the second side, you just never hear the end of it. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we don't have that going on. But already, Valence starting things off on the right foot. They're definitely being very aggressive on the offensive end, looking for some opportunities. But there's Sosa, again, like I talked about him earlier, being a more mechanical player. He's going to be definitely speedy on the back end, being one of the guys that's going to be very good to, you know, at least clear the ball. You know, you talk about having those mechanical players, and then Toronto, the shooter, comes through against the first goal. I love it when you talk about one team having all the offense and then it goes straight down the other end of Taroko just know. sitting there in front of the box, gets the redirect and opens it up for Plot Twist. What a start. Yeah, fresh start here for Plot Twist. They get one on the board after just being consistently pressured on their own end. And we, we saw, again, the great clears. Look at Sosa again, just trying to take this one from the corner. J Russ looking to push that in the midfield. And Taroko with the speed, but can't say the shot was on. Taroko couldn't get a piece of it. Radelko misses as well. Looking a little shaky here on offense for Valence, but same can be said here on the defensive side. Regardless, though, we do have a first goal in. It's been a clean start for Plot Twist. They're looking to make an offensive play as well. Sosa, that was a weak shot. J Russ will be able to clear it out. Making a use of these counterattacks at the moment, Plot Twist. Valence seem to have all the pressure as J-Russ goes for an edge rule bump. Does it get it? Can Rodogo put it away? Yes, he can. Gets the equalizer and a bit of reward for all the pressure they've had so far. Yeah, like you look at J-Russ, the way he's able to force a double commit. Sosa's coming back on the rotation and then Rodogo, I mean, probably one of the easiest shots that he's going to have today. No boost needed. Just slots are right behind Sosa. Clean shot, but, you know, it's always sometimes the easier shots that are the hardest ones to make, CJ, CJ. A hundred percent. I could personally say that I've missed a fair share of open nets. So I think the easier it is, the more you're thinking about it. And uh, that's when things can go wrong. But 1-1 one, one here. And I think that Valence is certainly putting up a fight, perhaps looking even a little bit more impressive so far than Plot Twist does. Yeah, definitely so. I mean, you look at J-Russ, he's already sitting at over 500 points. And we're in the first two minutes. Again, I feel like that's just one of those things, too, where you have a player who's, like, trying out for a team, so to speak. And J. Russ, although he probably has his fair share of options, still wants to leave a good impression as how he's doing individually. So, he's, you know, he's got to show out. As a little dunk comes out for Rodoko, almost puts that one away. And I'm just being really impressed so far with Valence's pressure. As Soroka gets a cost of misses, <laughs> going to go. And yes, it is. J. Russ cleans it up. Oh, just an awful little <laughs> turn of events there from Taroko. Yeah, Taroko, another whiff there, too, in front. That's like the second one he's missed in front of his own goal line. And it's easily taken advantage of. And the pressure right now from Valence just seems to be smothering for plot twists. They just haven't been able to necessarily get out of their own. And even after the kickoff, Kinsey, the dive to push that ball back into the corner, been something that we've seen for the majority of this game so far, Plotswist just have not been able to set up really anything offensively. They're limited to three shots so far. You look at the other end of things, I mean, Bayless are sitting at 14 at this point. <laughs> that pretty much sums up game number one so far. Plot twist not looking too impressive, and right now it seems all they have is that counter-attack game as Taroko tries to put a shot on net, but Valence having all the pressure and certainly getting rewarded on the scoreboard for it. That's one of those things where I'm also interested to see how it happens over time right obviously it's going to be a quick game one we are starting to see some signs of life here for plot twist they're getting the ball in the offensive end at mectos he'll still tie it up although they haven't had the pressure they have kept this game close it's back time 
Defensive mistakes for both teams has been costly as I believe j Russ thought Rodoko was going to get the touch there but unfortunately misses it and Plot Twist again capitalising on the few or the few chances that they're getting and right now it's 2-2 and I mean you can have all the shots in the world but if you're not scoring them it doesn't really matter. Oh man that's the worst. Where you look at the <laughs> end of the game score you got nine shots and zero goals. I'm looking at you can see you're at six right now. As it's not... Although Plot Twists have been pressured, they have made the most of their chances so far. The scoreline is still evened up. We have a minute and 25 seconds as Rodoko's playing this into the corner. He has j in assistance, but Soso on the dribble here is definitely going to be dangerous. He's taking his time, playing it into the corner. Has Mekdos to come up for him, and that pitch is going to go way out of their control. Taroko will try to keep it in play, but it will end up being cleared out. I think Nose Dude said it perfectly in chat. This is a battle of who can be the least dumb on defense at the moment. <laughs> both teams, both teams not really looking too hot. I'm not sure if they're just dusting off that that off season rust and and will certainly pick the level or the level of play up as the series goes on. But right now, both teams still trying to find their feet and looking a little bit shaky. Yeah, I mean, definitely got to be some game one nerves and jitters, which I mean. It's Expect it a little bit. Plot twist were scrimming before this one, so I feel like they would have been able to shake that off regardless. Like, I'll, I'll agree with the the dude with the nose. <laughs> Man, that's, that's something I don't say every day. But 30 seconds left. Kensei in the air, looking for a chance. He got the flip reset, but it was right in front of Taroko. Keeps it close. He's trying to clear this one out. Valence. With so much offensive pressure, but Plot was holding on. There might be a chance here. It's off the backboard. Taroko, he'll finally make a touch there. It'll be clear downfield. Plot was might have a chance. Taroko with the shot, and he does it with two seconds left. The counter attack plays the other way for Plot Twist. Again, with two seconds left, we see Valence overcommit. Too much pressure has ended up being their worst enemy there, and, and Taroko does put that one away. Plot Twist. Might be able to steal game one after having absolutely no shots. <laughs> what? How does that... Wait. How does that happen? I mean, they were stuck in their own end for a majority of that game. Valence were just playing the ball around the corner. You guys see the shot totals on the screen. And again, we saw the possession. We saw the level of possession there. We saw, really, I mean, Valence... Being super aggressive, Taroko, who ended up making probably the most defensive mistakes that led to goals on plot twists, also ends up scoring the most and getting that last second shot. And this is what I was talking about, too, with plot twists. Although, you know, they're looking shaky and, I mean, they're, yeah, they're definitely looking shaky. Uh, they still are able to just hold on, even, even with all the offensive pressure in the world that Valence put on. I think that's where the tilt factor comes in, Daz, that we love to talk about. Right now, you, if you're on Valence's side, you have absolutely smoked them in game one in terms of pressure. You've had all the shots, and you still haven't got the dub. Taroko just pinches that one with two seconds left, steals it from the jaws of defeat, and takes yeah. game number one. I mean, if you're, if you're Valence, you're probably pretty tilted, but if you're Plot Twist, as you said, I mean, it can only, it can only get better from here. I mean, that was a pretty poor showing in game number one, and... If they can step it up. I mean, if they can win when they're playing like that, if, they're play if they can start playing any better, they're going to get an easy dub. So we'll have to see what happens here in game number two. Yeah, and if, if any of you know Sosa, you know that he screams in the comms. So that was definitely a hype moment for them. But <laughs> uh, definitely a bruh moment for Valence. So much offensive pressure, but so little goals. They were only held to two. As game number two is underway, and... Plot twist again. Let's see where this momentum grabs them. Right now, they have the offensive pressure. Mekdos, oh, that's a nice shot. It's a good save from Rodoko to clear it out. Valence will try to take this the other way. Kensei with the fake, but Taroko, a solid read, and Soto will be able to clear. Oh, as the oh. shot comes out from Taroko, almost gets in, and the counter attacks from Plot Twist are coming out again. Valence overcommitting so much, and Taroko's got to get an open net, but he's got to put it wide. Oh man, close chance there for Taroko, but I am liking what I'm seeing from Plot Twist right now. The way that they're able to just instantly get comfortable on offense has proved well here, but again, they have to be careful because Valence, that offensive pressure, if you're not ready for it on the transition, could lead to a goal. Right now, Mekdo's buying Taroko some time as J-Rush wants to push this forward. It'll be sent over into the corner. Valence, 
Looking for a chance here. Pops out. Kinsey, is he fast enough? No, Mechdos to touch through him off, but the shot is blocked. Sosa gets a save on the goal line. He can't block this one, but it doesn't matter. It's off target anyways. I don't know where he was shooting. But it wasn't the net. <laughs> Jay Russell, the goal was about three times as wide there. Not sure what happened. Can he make up for it? No, he gets saved again. Great defense coming out from Plot Twist, but so many opportunities gone begging here for Valence. Uh, again, we talked about it, right? They have all this offensive pressure. They have all this momentum. They're moving the ball down the field really well, and they can keep it locked into their own half. But when it comes to time to take the shots, it's just too many inconsistencies, whether it's shot placement or if they're just shooting it right at the defender. And right now, it's just about making the most of the opportunities, and that's where Plot Twist have had the had the upper hand here, Valence. So many shots in the previous game, and already so many shots in game number two that they haven't been able to put away. So certainly going to be annoying for them. And Plot Twist now get their chance to attack. Sosa with a shot, puts it back to Taroko. Can he put it away in the top corner? Saved by Jairus. What a play. I like the idea there from Taroko. Tried to shoot it top right corner. Thought Jairus was going to try to dive for the left, but Jairus had enough time. So easy save for him. Now we have Plot Twist looking for that counterattack. Ball in midfield. Sosa trying to get this out to Taroko. He's up, but Rodoko is just so much faster there. Able to drop this one down. Sosa will try to pick it up again. And if there's anyone who could clear it out here, it would be Sosa. Taroko on defense as he's waiting and biding his time, checking the scene. He passes to Mechdos. I like the pass for the transition there. It gives him a lot of ground, but they're unable to hold on to it. So this one will be just Valence now with the offensive possession. I mean, it felt like game one was in slow motion, but I think it's starting to heat up a little bit here as the mechanics are, are starting to get warm. Mectos with an opportunity, and J-Rus puts that to the side, but Plot is right, Plot Twist right now seem in control of this game and starting to build some offense. Mectos off to the side. Taroko trying to catch up to it. It'll be an easy save for Rodoko, and j Rush gets a demo on Sosa, so now they'll try to move this downfield. Sosa fresh off the respawn, a long clear, buys his team some time. They'll try to dive at it and go to still boost. Taroko waiting for an opportunity. He pre-jumped that ball off the backboard, though. Still scoreless here in game two, and despite all the pressure both teams have had, still no one able to come out with a goal just yet. Can't believe there hasn't been a goal so far, but... Just seems both teams are playing very reactive, sort of waiting for the other team to, to make the first move. And right now, not working out for either team, but there's been so many opportunities, especially early on in this game. Right now, the, the game's starting to even out a little bit. The defense is starting to get a little bit stronger, and it's all going to be about who's going to make the most of that, that opportunity they're going to get, who's going to take that shot and, and bury it away. Both teams had double-digit shots in game one, and we're seeing Valence with three to Plot Twist 6. As Plot Twists are looking for a chance, Sosa, he'll get there fast enough. The off-speed ball goes in, and they take the lead. Sosa, I believe with the pre-jump here, little little doomsy dish fake from Taroko, and Sosa was the first one to it. Great little play off the corner there from Plot Twist, working with a little tight gap, and making the most of that opportunity. As we said, they get that goal on the board, and with 30 seconds left, it's up to Valence now to try and show us something to come back into this game. Sosa will clear it out, but it just takes that slow, that momentary lapse in defense was really all Plot Twist needed. A very split second play, but hold on, Valence, the counter attack, wait, it's blocked, j rest the shot, he'll clean it up, and Valence will tie it up with 13 seconds left on the clock. I'm not sure what's going on in this series, I don't know how that was, <laughs> I don't know how that was a goal and how Sosa saved that. Um, this is... Seems like the positioning is very random right now for both teams, but Valence do make the most of it. Get the equalizer, and what a series we have so far. It's messy, but it's fun. Okay, that is CJCJ's first impression of NA Rival Series level Rocket League for you, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. What a what an intro, guys. Anyway, we're getting down to overtime here in game number two. Uh, I don't know if I should ask you this, but I'm going to ask you this anyways. Who do you think is going to take the OT? <laughs> I think Plot Twist might take it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Instantly cast a curse. I knew it. I shouldn't have said it as soon as he went up in the air. And Valence take game number two. Radoko putting that one away. The defense couldn't get there. 
and the series is all tied up. Again, what an intro <laughs> to North American Rival Series Rocket League. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so OT ends very shortly here. Baylor's take the win off of a pretty much a solid kickoff goal. Good shot from Rodoko. He was in the air super early and uh, the defense for Plots was even though he kind of he technically shot it at him. Uh, no one was able to come up with the save. But now it's a 1-1 scoreline. This one, the <clears throat> the level of possession between these two teams definitely shifted as it did seem like Plot Twist broke into the offense a little bit more. But Tell me what you saw in terms of just how things changed over time and Valence able to get the win. Did it seem like they pulled off a little bit more? Maybe gave Plotz was more room? Or what do you think it was? Well, I think Plotz is, like, both teams was a bit of a stalemate. And then Plotz is worked so hard for that first goal. We saw Sozi get that pre-jump little little play off the sidewall there. And then they just threw it away instantly. We saw Taroko just out of position in midfield and a shot coming in that Sozi did save, but they eventually scored. And, I mean, with 30 seconds left, I'm not sure why Plotsis were overcommitting so much in the offensive end. They had that one-goal lead that they worked so hard for, and then they seemed to throw it away. And that was exactly what Valence did in game number one. They had all the pressure and then threw it away in the final moments. So I have no idea what game three is going to do, but I'm excited to get it underway. You know, that, that's the level of energy I love for my co-cast. <laughs> well, well, let's go. Game three, we don't know what's going on anymore. Uh, Valence and plot twist going at it. Honestly, though, I do like what I've been seeing from Valence. They've been able to kind of keep composure a little bit. Again, the biggest issue is just capitalizing on offense, cleaning up those shots. If they can, if they're able to get into that, they can do it. But right now, I mean, the defense needs some work. Mectos gets the first goal. There we go, baby. That's what we like to see. Love a little play from Plot, plot Twist. The Roko pops that one out, and there's two Plot Twist teammates waiting for that pass. Sosa does put that one away. Oh, Mectos does put that one away. And great start. Great little team play off the bat. So already a start here and almost a goal for Valence. A quick equalizer, but they won't pick it up. I like the extra effort there from Jay Russ pushing this one downfield. He's looking for another chance at a shot. It'll be Sosa with a soft save. And Kensei will try to play this one into the corner. Mectos push this one downfield and the Rodoko plays it back in in the midfield line this is just that valence offensive pressure or really just the control that we've seen from them a, a bit of a jumble on the defense there from plot twist but they do manage to clear things out Kente will take control but that soft touch perfect for Taroko to try to make a challenge on now plot twist Mecto slowing down the play this one pinches down into the corner Sosa looking for the pass to Taroko. Does he have the double? Uh, he doesn't. Sosa tries to cover it up. Kinte will jump into the air and he'll clear away the danger. Just seems like these opportunities are, are coming pretty easy right now for Plot Twist. You, you just saw the ball pretty much going for that, as Wave Punk would say, waterfall, the guillotine off the backboard. And that was enough to, <laughs> to get Valence all triple committing there for that ball. And Plot Twist right now not having to do too much. I think that both teams a little bit panicky is. Rodoko does beat a couple here, and Mectos is going to have to get back, but just still seems there's a little bit of nerves right now, Daz. A little bit, you know, a little bit of shakiness from both of these teams. It does seem like they're definitely still, again, just kind of struggling to get things going here, where, you know, you see some players that are being a, a little bit more consistent. For example, j Russ consistently has been top of the board here for Valence over the course of the series. Mectos is starting to show up here this game, but it's also being a little bit more quiet. And I mean, you kind of, you expect him to definitely be more in your face, more aggressive downfield. But I think that after that loss in game number two, just trying to play more safe, more passive, not again, overcommit when you have that lead, very big for Platos. Certainly more of a midfield battle at the moment. As Kinsei tries to get a shot, almost goes in there off his own corner. But we've only had five shots now for half the game total. And it's more of a midfield battle now as an awkward touch there from Valence, but they're able to deal with it and put it away. And I'm certainly going to, I think we're going to start seeing Plot Twist start to heat it up a little bit, trying to get that extra goal, that finish of it. I mean, it's, it's, it's certainly getting a little bit, a little bit less chaotic and a little bit more, uh, more composed right now from both sides. Yeah, Taroko will get some space here, but j Russ will knock it away. He's moving down for He has 50 boosts here. He goes up, sees Kinsey looking for a pass. Kinsey does get the touch. The follow-up is there. 
but no one able to put a shot on. Kinsei just trying to throw things off. J Rush puts it up for Radoko to save. A close chance there. But plot twist hold off the danger for now. They're looking to send it the other way. Mechdos got a shot credit for that one, but possession will go back to Valence as again looking to make a play, but hold on offense. Slow down with the demo on Radoko. Mechdos can pick this up with the clear. It's definitely just been a back and forth game of attrition. You have Mechdos on the sidewall. He has zero boost there. But I just feel like it's one of those things where you have that position of a threat. Maybe trying to force Valence to use a little bit more boost to get them out of position. And we saw Valence there. I believe that Mechdos, he had a free, or Kinsey, I think, had a free double touch that he just couldn't quite put away. And this series so far has been all about making the most of those opportunities that you get. And right now, Plot Twist, they're one goal up. They have made the most of that first great passing play early on in this game. And I mean, I did say it was looking more composed, but it's, as everyone's now whiffing the ball, both teams so happy to just jump at the ball randomly and, and just so panicky again. So I've just it's going to be about the first team, Daz, that really composes it and really takes control of this game without, without panicking too much. Yeah, and you would think that that would be plot to us at this point. Right now, they have the lead here, but 35 seconds... And the way we've seen this series go, it's really not over until the clock is zero. So with the final 30 remaining, we see a drive here from Valence. They're looking to move downfield, but the pass is cut out from Sosa. And Plot Twist will immediately turn this around, looking for the counter. Kid say in net, and he'll come up and make the save. Sosa in the air. At this point, they got to play for time. Final 15 seconds. Soroko jumps at it. Can he have the recovery? He does. Has possession. Gets the flick to the back wall. Valence need a clear here but they can't get one because they're constantly being pressured by Plot Twist. Sosa will play it into the corner. Kinte tries to come up to make sure that doesn't hit the ground, but he's not there in time, and Plot Twist will take game three. That was a professional last 30 seconds there from Plot Twist. They really just killed all the time on the clock. We saw Taroka with a crucial touch in the midfield to keep that pressure on and really gave Valence no chance to score a late goal, which we have seen in the first two games. So. Going into that last 30 seconds, Daz, I thought that maybe Valence were favourites. They'd score a goal and then win in overtime. But plot twist, they seem to have bucked the trend there. They've locked it down, got a handy 1-0 win and, and just, just certainly looked a little bit more solid compared to Valence and certainly made the most of their chances. Yeah, I was really impressed with plot twist too because that was the most consistent they had looked in, a, in pretty much all that game where, again, that constant offensive pressure, that constant, you know, making sure no one gives up any space just to keep the ball and Valence is in for the last 30 seconds. They didn't have to do anything, you know, um, super flashy. They just needed to, again, play keep away. And they did it really well. And then for Valence now, pulling things back, I mean, what do you think they have to really do to, to kind of, again, force that game five? I think just as we, we just talked about both teams being so panicky, and I think just making the most of their midfield opportunity, I mean, Anytime the ball's pretty much sent in either end, like you've got either team just jumping instantly for the ball and not really taking their time and, and making the most of their space. And I think that if Valence can somehow just control that midfield a bit more and get a bit more boost control and, and that pressure that we saw, particularly in game number one, even though they didn't win it, so perhaps it's not a winning recipe, but <laughs> they look so good at game number one, that pressure. They need to find it some way to to bring that pressure back and, and get back into this series because Plot Twist, as you said, they looked really solid that game and, and locked it out and kept Valence scoreless. Yeah, and that's definitely, as we get ready to get into game number four, it's going to be something that, you know, we start to pay attention to, right? It's, again, this was, uh, you know, uh, as, as great as these teams are, this has definitely been a very sloppy series. And we've, we've pointed that out many times where it just, you know, the simplest of touches are just coming up with whiffs here. So the fact that Platos is one of the first teams that start getting, you know, comfortable and playing that consistent Rocket League is really going to give them the edge here, especially because now Valence have all the pressure on them and they're going to have to really dig deep if they want to have a chance to, you know, again, like I said, force that game five. So Platos sitting here with the edge here. Uh, still been a very close series, so to speak. Although, you know, we've seen teams with a lot of pressure and a lot of offensive chances. Uh, not necessarily too many high goal scoring, uh, goal scored in general, or really goal scoring opportunities. And what does that necessarily contribute to, um, CJ? I think that it's just more about making the most, as you said, making the most of those chances. And I think it's just one of those series, Dads, where there just aren't that many opportunities. So I know both teams haven't really shown up as you said so far that it's been a little bit of a 
a shaky start for both sides. And I think that we saw in game number three there, we had uh, Kinsab, I believe. He had a double-touch opportunity. He put it wide, and then they couldn't put it away. I mean, those, those three double-touches, you have to be hitting those, especially in these low-scoring games. And if you're not making most of those chances, you're not going to get the win. And that's what we saw there as Plot Twist did take out game number three. Yeah, so the recipe seems to be making the most of the opportunities, which, again, for a team like Valence makes sense because they've had – the most opportunities, especially we saw it in game one, the amount of offensive pressure. They kept that going in game two, and it did help them you know, bring that win out. But now we need to see, again, good offensive shots, solid chances, and more pressure coming out from them. Meanwhile, plot twists are, again, just trying their best to make sure that you know they keep up and playing that kind of consistent Rocket League. So uh, for them, it's definitely been something that – it's, it's new, uh, again, as you know, right now we're still just kind of setting up the lobby, getting things ready to go. That, yeah. That yeah, I a... think that uh, our mutator was accidentally still on there, so I think we'll have to quickly restart this one. Good old ping test. A good, old, good old ping test there. We'll quickly restart this one and we'll be underway, but as you said, this is a great opportunity for Valence to just quickly, quickly refresh themselves and... And perhaps just, I don't know, maybe just go for it this game. I mean, their backs against the wall, 2-1 uh, down in this series. I think we just need to see that offensive pressure we saw game, game, game number one and perhaps just take it to them in the speed battle. It's, it's been a pretty slow series, a pretty pretty messy series so far. So perhaps if they can just up the ante a little bit and get some bumps, get some demos and get that offensive pressure, we can really see it turn around for, for Valence. Uh, do you now for for Valence? Is there really somebody that you think needs to stand out? Is there really is there like somebody that if you think has a really good performance this game based on what you've seen from the series so far can kind of you know for lack of a better word carry them into a victory? Um, I'm looking at Jay Russell Valence for sure. Uh, I watched a bit of him in, in some other in some other tournaments we've casted him before as well in the Fusion uh, tournament. So certainly looking at him as a as a player to watch um, and. Yeah, just, just he's got that 1v1 ability, Daz, where he can really, you know, take control of the game. And I'm looking to see that for Valence, and he, his team probably needs him right now. Yeah, so Va Valence and j -Russ. If he has a standout performance, it'll definitely be something to look out for. For the plot twist side, honestly, I think it's Taroko. Once Taroko really starts playing that that elevated game and his shots are on and he's not whiffing on defense, I mean, the team just looks so much better. But I digress. Getting into this next game, Plot Twist have the series lead here as they're trying to close out, close things out. Valence trying to force a game five, and we'll see just exactly who comes up with it. Right now, it's Plot Twist on an offensive drive, and Rodoko. A quick save to stop out the shot from Sosa. They'll try to bring this on the other end as J-Russ pushed that out in the midfield. But it will be cleared away. And Ball going back into the plot twist corner. Almost a chance in front. Can't say with some control here, but Sosa very quick to jump on that ball, eliminating the pressure. Yeah, great little play from Plot Twist. Just piling this pressure on. Double commit. Oh a little bit of a pre-jump save, but... It is going to be scored eventually. Valence almost getting out of danger there, but it's all been plot twist the start of this game so far. Great pressure and a reward for effort there. Yeah, and plot twist with the pressure here too. I mean, I didn't expect them to sit in the whole house, but they did. It started <laughs> off with the shot, the, the, the pass from Taroko. Mekdos being very, very aggressive on the double commit, spotted an opportunity, and Sosa just played cleanup crew. So, already a good start for plot twist, but. Could be a chance here. They, again, have to hold on to this one goal lead. We've seen them do it before, but Valence are looking to strike back. They have this one in their own box. J Russ comes up, pinches it into the corner. Rodoko, a pinch out to Rocco, has to come up with a good save here. He heads off to Kinsey. Kinsey to Rodoko, but Sosa and Mekdos, the double commit, helped them out a little bit. It buys it to Rocco some time to get into the net. Valence now with a little bit of pressure. Let's see if they can keep it as Sosa does clear that one. But I feel like Valence still have a little bit of boost control and, and the ability to maintain this offense. But right now, they're just letting Plotsis walk all over them. The speed right now, you see Sosa just keeping that ball in. They've just stepped it up a little bit, increasing that speed. And right now, it's really caught Valence on the back foot. And they're really struggling to keep their feet and, and get some pressure of their own in this game. 
Plot twist looking to turn up the heat as again they're looking to extend that one goal lead. A demo, or two demos on the play, but who can stop the shot? It'll be Rodoko. A chance there for Plot Twist to come out big. We saw again a demo from each side right in front of the goal line, but Rodoko still on defense, able to come up with that save. Huge save coming out from Rodoko. And then we saw J-Ross today just trying to get some some dribbles going, trying to get some solo play action. That's what we need to see as he warms up into this series. Love a little touch. This could be an opportunity for Valence, but Kinsei has no boost, and Rodoko's going to have to track back here to keep this ball in for Valence. So now Plot Twist will try to turn things around here. With two minutes remaining, Kinsei, though, has something to say. J-Ross trying to get a bump, but the shot, no power. There's even a demo. Can they take this the other way? Mechdos on top of the ball. J-Ross with the cutout. Kinsei, oh, a double whiff on the ball. Okay, Sosa, get that one out of here. As Plot Twist look for another chance, it's down in front. Sosa, it's a shot on. It is! And Sosa will pick up a big goal here in game four. It's game one vibes all over again. That just went <laughs> absolutely crazy for the last 20 seconds there. Counter-attack after counter-attack. And it was Plot Twist coming out on top there. Sosa getting his second goal on the board here. And looking to close out this series. So a two-goal lead. And the way things have been going towards the later half of this series, this might be the game. We'll see if Plot a Twist can hold on or if Valence have something to say about it. Taroko moving downfield. Does he have the double touch? It won't matter. Rodoko's there in time. Mechdos will try to push this one through. It bounces. Sosa's up. No shot. He plays it off the backboard. A demo comes through. Kente gets it past one. Is the net open? <laughs> Not anymore. Mechdos with a demo. <laughs> Throw that one away. Huge demo coming out. And Plot Twist getting a little bit too... Uh... I'd, I'd say a little bit carried away there, nearly giving away a free opportunity, and they're two goals up. They don't need to score again as a double touch opportunity comes out. Taroka does push that one away, but Plot Twist can certainly lock out this series. With 50 seconds left, there's no way they should be losing this, and I might have just cast a curse to them, but as a t <laughs> you should not be conceding a two goal lead from here, as Taroko might be able to get another one on the board, and a counter attack opportunity comes out for Valence, pushed away by Mectos. Yeah, and again, Plot Twist kind of getting caught out on the rotation here, but right now, Valence, not enough time on their hands. Final 30 seconds, and we've seen Plot Twist stay on the ball, again, being very aggressive in terms of keeping things in play. Right now, they just kill 10 more as the ball goes towards their end. A bit of a jumble there, but they still end up getting a touch on the play. Need a goal here for Valence if they want to have a chance at it and get another kickoff. The pass play comes through, blocked out. Kinsey. Looking for the midfield, Taroko's there, and at this point, this one's all but over. That ball will hit the ground, and Plot Twist will take it in four. CJ, the prediction, you got it. 3-1, baby. We're 100% so far. Let's close the show. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, that'll do it. 100% uh, <laughs> prediction, and we're done. It's been a great, pretty great tournament. Uh, I knew I should have had those dude casters. Uh, I knew it. I felt it. I felt it in the energy. Oh, man. But GG's to Plot Twist. Valence had a very strong start, but uh, one, of, one of the things that we saw was, although you can have all the possession in the world and the more shot chances, if you don't score them, it doesn't matter. So, again, Plot Twist, edge it out over the course of the series, and they move on in the bracket. But, I mean, closing out for this one, what, was it, what do you think was, like, really the big thing there for Plot Twist? I think they just look like the more solid team in the end. I mean, it was such a messy series from both sides. I'm certainly not going to say that Plot Twist is going to go all the way in this tournament and clinch one of the two qualification spots. I think that both teams didn't play their best. I think that's fair to say. And they certainly have a lot more up their sleeve. And, and they'll need to bring a lot more as they start, as Plot Twist in particular, start to verse um, some, some uh, say, higher quality teams coming in this tournament. They, they now will face Rat Enterprises in the winners' for quarter final. But... Uh, I think that I think the plot is just they made the most of those opportunities in and, and early on, especially in game one, Daz, where Valence had so many shots, they had to win that game. I mean it's a best of five. There's certainly enough games to sort of come back, but when you have that many opportunities, you really need to make the most of it and lock out those games. And although it was a three one, it was still a pretty close series. And I feel like if they had, you know, make made the most of those opportunities early, Valence could have could have taken that one out. Yeah, so again, Congrats to Plot Twist. They move on into our qualifier bracket. It's definitely been a interesting start to the day. But, I mean, again, this was only game number one. We have more Rocket League coming up soon here. Again, guys, don't go anywhere. This is the Summer Shuffle here on BTS Rocket League.